Jason Schreier has written a new report about Rockstar Games' Grand Theft Auto series, and in it, he claims that GTA 6 will feature the series' first female protagonist. He writes, The woman, who is Latina, will be one of a pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde. The game might even feel different from its predecessors for this and multiple other reasons. My thoughts? It's cool whenever any masculine-focused media franchise takes a step towards inclusion. But I'm honestly not sure if there are enough female players of the GTA franchise to explain why this choice is being made. Maybe it's just to remind the toxic masculine fanbase that human women exist and are more than just blow-up dolls? Kenichi Okuma, a composer who worked on Super Smash Bros. Brawl, has passed away at the age of 56. The cause of death was esophageal cancer. His best-known tracks in the game include Pokemon Gym slash Evolution and Flat Zone 2. My thoughts? Rest in peace, Mr. Okuma. Your work lives on in the hearts of millions. Jason Schreier is reporting that Aspire's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake has been delayed indefinitely. Supposedly, a demo was shown to Lucasfilm and Sony back in June, and a week after that, Aspire fired their design and art directors out of the blue. Schreier's report suggests that KOTOR's current direction was unsustainable. The game has been in development for over three years, but apparently, the game is now potentially aiming for a 2025 release date, but even that's up in the air. My thoughts? It's been a big year for game delays, but this doesn't sound like the typical issue of just needing a few more months of polish. Schreier's report reads like the game is in jeopardy, as though the last three years of development might be unusable. I'm hopeful for the game, but I'm also hopeful we don't see any more devs lose their jobs. Nintendo uploaded a new trailer, announcing that the next wave of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks is coming to the Booster Pass on August 4th. The Turnip Cup will feature New York Minute from Tour, Mario Circuit 3 from Super Nintendo, Calamari Desert from N64, and Waluigi Pinball from Nintendo DS. The Propeller Cup will include Sydney Sprint from Tour, Snowland from GBA, Mushroom Gorge from Wii, and Sky High Sunday, a brand new track debuting on Switch before coming to Tour at a later date. My thoughts? Better late than never, even if this isn't technically late. I love the track selection. I think we'll see Wave 3 before the end of the year, Maybe around the week of Christmas? I've seen lots of people online asking for more GameCube tracks, so I hope the next wave will have some Double Dash goodness. EA is reportedly developing a single-player Black Panther game, and, like almost every AAA game in development these days, it's going to be open world. Not much is known about this project. Jeff Grubb states the game is in very early development, and will revolve around the player character completing challenges to become the new Black Panther. My thoughts? More good single-player Marvel games always excite me. I loved the Insomniac Spider-Man games, and I even liked the single-player campaign in Square Enix's Avengers game. It's too bad these games aren't interconnected like the movies, but if this game can make it feel like you're Black Panther, in the way other games make you feel like they're respective superheroes, then count me in. PlayStation made a blog post today about the latest system software beta going live, adding game lists and 1440p support. Game Lists, which is the biggest news here, is basically their name for folders. Since it's only in beta, it'll be a while before it goes live for all console owners, and that date is currently unknown. My thoughts? Finally! Both Nintendo and Sony have been sleeping on the addition of folders. For the Switch, it took years, and when they finally added them, the feature wasn't even ideal. Being able to organize your games on the home screen is a big deal, at least it is for me. I like to sort games into various categories for different reasons. My backlog is one major reason, so I'm glad Sony is doing this.